And hello everyone, this is Animation 4, welcome back to some more, whatever this is, Sky, Sky Factory 3, one chunk challenge, quarter chunk challenge, we, we, we don't need that full chunk, what are you talking about? Uh, so, it's been a while, and lots of stuff has occurred. Firstly, we're up to seven legendary loot bags, and all those have been gotten pretty much through rares, I take the rares out of here and I dump them in there, up to seven, which is like, about a hundred rares I think. By math, by fast math in my head, right? It's about a hundred rare loot bags have gone up there. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those, but they are, they are collecting. Um, I set up a little farm here mainly because I needed witch water. Um, I'll ignore that for right now. I'll explain, I'll explain what's going on there in a little bit. But uh, something I did have to do. Uh, I didn't explain it, but something I did have to do is I had to set up a a patch of grass. To grow botania flowers because if you use botania flowers this mystical black petal basically counts as squid ink when you crush it into the stuff the stuff it basically counts as squid ink it, could tur it turns things black so i needed that for book and quill which i used to make this looting three book because i thought you could enchant spikes but i guess you can't anymore i thought you could at some point maybe not but to do that, I had to make this patch of grass, um, like four layers down, like below this one. And well, think about how far that is, and it's grass. So we got mob spawns, ah, and I do that every time. We have we've had stuff spawning. It's been pretty cool. And I made this oh this this little chicken in this. I made this um, animal net, and I can basically put down and pick up animals. This is, this is a sand chicken. Uh, a bunch of chickens. Are, spawned we have some mega chickens you have this bone white chicken the skeleton it drops bone meal you can breed chickens um uh so look at chicken there's a lot there's there's even like diamond chickens at this point xp chicken dark steel chicken like i don't even know we got a bone white chicken we got a sand chicken it's pretty cool we got a rooster Maybe you need that. I don't know. I, I don't know how any of this works. But we have chickens. We have pigs. We have a cow. It's cool. Don't really need it. I have plenty of leather from just grinding up the, the leather armor. So next task is my material supply has been getting a little short. Because basically the only way I've been getting materials is by manually taking dust up here and tossing it in this machine. And it, it, it goes through. But that takes power. That takes coal to generate power. Which is the most efficient way to generate power from coal. That, that, that is a true statement. Because there's no more efficient coal generation than what I'm doing. Still takes coal. So I figured let's do something better. Let's make lava generation. Uh, so a lava bucket I can make purely out of cobblestone. Which I could basically generate from thin air. So you take the lava, you put it in a generator. Right, which generator though? There's two. There's the simple generators, and then there's the extra utilities two generator. I put a single bucket of lava in each for a little test. And they seem to run about, they, both of these finished at the same time. So I'm gonna say that first. They both finished at like the same time. This one filled up exactly. One bucket made exactly 1,000 RF, or 100,000 RF, okay? This one made 2,000. <laughs> it's an obvious choice. Uh, it, it, it produced twice as much power in the same amount of time using the same amount of resources. So there's not really a question there. So I made eight of them. Why did I make eight of them? Because we're going to do stuff. Uh, you can actually upgrade these. Uh, the extra utility generators you could upgrade in the previous versions. You can't anymore. You can upgrade these now. I'm going to get this fiber crystal. Make a little circle, drop this in the middle, and it basically turns it sideways. How exciting. Get a lava generator, Mark II. Let's see how this does. Um, it holds a little bit more power. Okay, zero RF a tick. Dump in a lava bucket, 640 RF a tick. That's a lot. They're going to generate the same amount of power, though. They're going to generate more. Yeah, theoretically, it should generate the same amount. It should just be a lot faster. Better generate at least the same amount, otherwise it's losing efficiency. No, my efficiency. Dang. 
Uh, I forget how much one generated, actually. Will this one tell me? Um, this one generated 40. So this one must have actually generated 80. So 640 is a perfect 8 to 1. So this is 8 times faster. It's just slightly less efficient. However, keep in mind it saves space. And space is just as valuable, if not more valuable, than cobblestone. So if you looked up, I did make this cobblestone, ge this lava generator here. It runs off a single cobble gen because it's not that fast. And it's got eight crucibles here, which I'll dump into this one tank. Which is then going to go into this here uh, lava generator. I don't really care about the one lava bucket too much. And then into this vibrant capacitor bank, which I spent a bunch of time making. And the hope is this vibrant capacitor bank will be able to power a ton of sifters. And I'm going to have to do some experiments in a little bit to determine how heavy sieves compare to regular sieves. And if it's more efficient to do a bunch of regular sieves or one heavy sieve. Keeping in mind that space is a factor. Let's just get this thing plugged in and see what happens. 25 million RF. This only holds two. Each bucket of lava generates almost 200k. That's, less, that's like 100 buckets of lava is going to fill this thing. It's, it's going to fill fast. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more power than this, but that first requires resources, which I am, I have, but not really what I consider an infinite supply of. That is decreasing, and I'm not spending time to make it go any higher. What was I doing? This is what happens when I talk too much. I, knew, I forget what I was doing. I need one of these, one of these. I also made some energy conduits, some enhanced energy conduits, uh, using this recipe because it's very, very slightly more efficient. There we go. Drop that there. Drop that there. Add it to the pipe. And... Ooh. And... As you can see, that's a lot more than 640. Now it's at 640. This is generating 640 RF per tick. Pretty neat. So let's take another look at something. This right here consumes 40 FE a tick. I do not believe there's any way to update up upgrade that. However, this is this is like a, a tangent line here. This is just a tangent. It might not, this might not be a thing that ends up happening. But just a little side note. There is a mana sieve that is freaking out in the description. Ah, ah. Does it re-roll re a person every time or something? Yeah, it does re-roll a person every time. Just this one re-rolls a little bit too fast. Uh, it uses mana steel, which requires some mana stuff we could get started on if if this thing is in fact better then we could make this because it's not necessarily more expensive actually it takes the same amount of iron or steel so you never know also sieve fortune is a thing i just realized that <laughs> um if we, when we set up this auto sieve, we're definitely going to want this. And this enchanter will help with that. And in order to get the experience, actually, I'm tangenting again. Dang it. Oh, well. Um, at, in mob grinding utils, they have this mob masher, which I was doing very, very close examinations on with, and whether or not this actually gave you more loot bags if you took this with a bunch of fortune or looting upgrades. It doesn't seem to. One of these produces about the same amount of looting bags as just some diamond spikes. However, you get a ton more uh, regular mob drops, more ender pearls, more rotten flesh, all that. Which I don't really need. And would just clog up the system anyway, so I'm not too worried. But it does drop experience, which can be gathered through this absorption hopper that actually can gather experience and up it through experience tank. This is something I'm going to want, this, this experience thing. I don't, however, know if the diamond spikes drop experience because I can't actually get up there in time to see something die on them. It's a little flaw in the system. By the time... Actually, no, I just saw something. Did not seem to drop experience. That's unfortunate. 
However, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it anyway. I'm going to make one of these. Shouldn't actually be too hard. I just need one of these. Uh, there's obsidian. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. These and a chest. We're just going to drop it up there. See if it picks up any experience at all. If it does, maybe we don't have to switch out. If it does not, then we probably do. Got nothing in it. Um, it should work from here, but I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Come down here. Give the system a little bit of time to work. While I distract you with eggs. Oh, look, eggs. Pretty. Beans. I have to clean. Something just died. It did pick up the drops. Did not get experience, though. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need the mob masher. This thing only damages stuff that's physically touching it, which is really annoying. Uh, spiders aren't going to be a problem, but if anything lands next to it, like this is a, f a two by two space. I can only put this in a one, I can only put this block in a one by one. If anything lands next to it, it's going to be, it's going to not care. So I'm probably going to end up using f more fans down here. Everyone loves the fans. And yeah, that would get the experience. I haven't, however, tested the masher with no looting upgrades to see if it gets any um uh bags and looting bags that's something i have to do and of course we have make an xp tap to get the experience out but that that's 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 down the road that's how we're going to end up getting this experience once i make the sifter that's a side note how much energy we got we're up to three mil how much lava do we have lava has not changed all right any of these they have dropped a little bit we might not be able to fully maintain. Um, oh yeah, the lava is actually down a lot. Some of these. We're not going to be able to fully maintain 640. Or maybe it just took the initial capacity. I don't know. But we should be able to get a lot out of this. 500 or if it take out of this. Which is good. That'll run a bunch of stuff. Okay, that was a lot of talking. I'm going to go figure out what I just said and start doing stuff. <laughs> Okay, I kind of think I figured out a plan. A little bit. So, I made... Uh, made these civ upgrades. By the way, these are totally wrong. Uh, it says civ efficiency 1, and it takes blocks of coal, and it makes auto smelt. Then civ fortune 5, and it takes... It, it makes efficiency. It, they, they're like, the enchantments are switched or something. But... What it is, is you can get in, um, Fortune 3 with 12 Crushed Endstone and Efficiency 5 with 20 Crushed Netherrack, which is a lot of lava and a lot of resources and stuff, but it's kind of worth it. This was, if I remember right, this was one stack of dust in a Efficiency 5 Fortune 3 Diamond Mesh. And you get two stacks of redstone out of it, so that's, that's two redstone per dust as opposed to a 50% chance of a redstone per dust. It's, it's four times as, as much stuff. It's really good. So I actually made the same thing for this iron one right here. We have a, a sieve uh, efficiency 5 fortune 3. And what we're going to do with that, we're going to hook it up down here to sieve the stuff. Then we have to somehow get it all the way back up here. And there's the problem. I don't really have any way of getting anything from this point and below up to my storage. Because from up here, I have this, this pipe that runs. By the way, I set up some farms and stuff. I'll show you those in a little bit. Um, I have this pipe that runs all the way from the mob grinder, which, by the way, I have set up with golden spikes so it collects essence or experience so I can come collect it later from this, uh, this tank. It, it works pretty darn well. And gold, golden spikes, I'm, I'm not sure if they only drop experience, if they drop experience too. Nope, they don't only drop experience, because that's a lot of loot bags. Uh, yeah. Also, what, what's I going to do? I've gotten these two loot bags, uh, the Darkosto bag and the worn out loot bag. These are the two only two I've gotten that are weird loot bags like this. No idea what's in them, let's find out. Take. 
apparently it's Darkosto's birthday, if you didn't realize, by all these cakes. But you know, let's have a little bit more cake. Okay, then we have the worn out loot bag, which has not a bed. Okay, so they're troll bags, that's, that's, that's fine. Um, I have no reason to sleep. Who needs sleep when you have cake like I do? So if you, if you have a keen eye, you'd notice what's in my inventory right now. And I would remember where I put this thing I made. No, did I already put it down here? I did not. Where did it? I guess I didn't make it yet. One. One. Uh, I have these blazing dolls. So if you remember, I was, I was wondering how on earth are we going to get blazes? This is a bit of a problem because... We don't have any, and we need some. Well, Ex Nihilo already has a thing for that, and that's these blazing dolls. You throw them into a stone barrel full of lava, and you get a blaze out of it. it takes a long time. Really inefficient, but it works. And that's all that really matters right now. I'm going to set up this little cage, essentially so it doesn't get anywhere. Uh, I'm going to spawn us a blaze. Ah, dang. Oh, well. Glass is just for effect, and so it doesn't get too dark in here. You drop it in. You know, I'm down to 7, and it's spawning. It's 10%. This broadsword has as much looting as I can shove on it. I also made this syringe, um, which will extract the essence of the blaze. Uh, let me put that there. Just a little bit more coverage if I try to back up and maybe a back wall so I don't fall off. You get the essence of the blade because I was looking at ways of auto spawning. This is, I'm sorry, this is never going to happen because it requires a Vulcan spawner in an anvil. As far as I know. Oh, there, he's here. Back up. Keep punching it. I think this is full now. All right, got 100% blaze essence. I really should have made more than this one. I'm actually going to go make... Is he going to despawn? I think he's going to despawn. Let's kill him. Get some blaze wads. Get three blaze wads. Um, I'm going to make a few syringes. They're, they're, they're not expensive. Uh, it takes a little bit of glass, though, which I'm out of. But yeah, we got the three blaze wads. So we can't make the powered spawner because we have no way of getting broken spawners. Broken spawners you get by actually breaking actual mob spawners. Um, which, I don't know if you've looked around, but there aren't really any mob spawners around here. Uh, the other way is with the RF tools spawner. This block can spawn creatures. It needs a syringe of the appropriate type, which is why I got the syringe, RF power, and also it needs beams of energized matter. I don't know what that means, but matter booster maybe? Uh, block converts matter into a beam of energy. It can then send the beam to a connected spawner, connect by using a wrench. Oh, this thing. That's not expensive to make. I don't know how much power or anything it takes, but it's there. And the reason we need these blazes is for ender chests. As far as I know, these are the only way of sending items remotely or wirelessly transporting items. There might be a better way involving pipes or something. But as far as I know, um, no tesseract. This processor um is there a wireless wireless charger wireless battery um what else what else what is the term ender I, I don't think there's any way to do this ender monitor from rf tools does rf tools have something it has a lot of stuff uh yeah so we're gonna go with the ender chests essentially is what i'm but I'm narrowing it down to, and each ender chest takes four blaze rods. Uh, we got three from that one. That's pretty good. Uh, I think you can get four from one. Uh, I'm not sure how common it is. But definitely going to be making a few more syringes, just in case I need them for later. Uh, I'll probably just make the two out of the one I have right now. Spawn these, get some kills, and hopefully lots of blaze rods. All right, been doing a little bit of work here to get stuff done. You can see I have some new things moving to. I got chunks, I got chunks of stuff. Uh, so I made this solium dagger. It wasn't too hard to make. It took a few 
uh, recipes. You gotta get to this and then and then where you start. But essentially, now I want to kill things with this dagger. I have a chance of getting a chunk of them. That sounds right. And you know, just been basically doing this. They're one hit to kill from here, so I can kill a lot of them pretty fast. And I collect all the chunks. Now I'm, I'm probably not gonna really want like zombie essence or something. But it is important to have these for a particular reason. Do I get any more? I got a creeper, spider. Because these chunks you smelt down into regular mob chunks. Uh, so tier 1 is just zombie. Then upgrade it to tier 2 or you can smelt down to tier 2. From here you get pig, you get chicken, you get cow. All this good stuff. Slime. Slime's the big one I'm going for actually. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But you go up to enderman which is tier 4 mob chunk. Um, which, I actually don't know what you can do. Oh, blaze. You can do blaze out of enderman. That's really good. Um, I'd like to get some blaze chunks. I have enough blaze rods right now. I got 47 just from making the the blazing dolls. But I'd like some more. Uh, so yeah, that's, those are the chunks. What I want to do now is the tier 2. Oh, was it tier 3 that I had? No, it was tier 2. I need to make, I need to make some tier 2 chunks. Specifically four of them. And... I don't have enough slime balls. Dang. I need 12, I need 16 slime balls, not 12. So I'm going to have to do some more slime ball making in the smeltery. And I'll make, try to make the, um, the four slime chunks. I think I need four. So I didn't explain why you need the chunks, right? So the slime chunks are then used to make slime seeds. Slime seeds you use to grow slime essence. That's... That's why you have them. And the slime essence you can uh, make stuff out of. Typically this. Oh, it's spider eye and nature? Interesting. I might go that route. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, but I need slime chunks. So that, that's what we're going for now. And I'll be back in a bit when I have those. Okay, it's time to do some crafting of seeds. For this. For this. And you can get a tier 2 crafting seed yep uh, I got 16 slime balls now and 4 tier 2 mob chunks I should be able to make 4 slime chunks and I think it's just need 4 more of this and we get da, 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 slime seeds a single slime seed Yeah, you can make um, mystical fertilizer instantly grows a crop. That could be an option just to start off to get early slime seeds. So I'm not really going to have any. Uh, but for right now, this is just going to take this. This is place because I'm not really getting much from these. Oh, I don't think I explained what this is. This is fertilized dirt. And you make it with the chicken manure, and it grows it a little bit faster. Um, yes, yeah, so we got the slime seeds planted right here. I don't think you can use bone meal on it, and I don't think the watering can works. I'm gonna try each, just in case. Bone meal doesn't do anything. Okay, and actually, no. There's um, there's a mystical watering can from this mod. Yes. Inferior water it can, and so on and so forth. Uh, we don't have any fertilized essence. Does the first one take it? Dang! Takes fertilized essence. Okay, the fertilized essence we're gonna get from harvesting these seeds, but we need seeds to harvest before we can get it. 1% each. So the big. Th I've been trying to get slime balls for some strange reason. And the biggest reason is because we're going to end up going into these crops at some point. We're going to be going heavy into um, this mod. And there's things called growth crystals, uh, which grows things faster. This one, this one, and this, this one. Um, the first one takes the sea lantern, which takes prismarine. And the real only way to get prismarine is... From sifting sponge. Uh, decent chance. I mean if you use fortune on it. 
yeah, probably going to get one of these two. You got a good chance to get one of these two each sponge. Uh, but sponge is still nine slime balls per. Or slime essence, which is a much favorable, more favorable option. So that's been the goal, to get these growth crystals. Once we get these, we can expand if we want. Um, I haven't really looked at what this is. Oh, that takes some of that stuff. Okay. Um, I can expand them to make these if we want. But the idea is we need sponge to get any of our growth really started. Because at the rate things are going right now, it's not very fast. I could sit here and shift, but it's not going to do anything. So that's been the background goal this whole time. I think what I'm going to do is, since you can make sponge using just the essence, I think I'm going to plant some of these seeds too. Uh, nature essence is... Questions. I can do that. Yeah, I can, I can get these eventually. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I can get those. And spider essence just comes from these. It's a tier three though. If I get four spider seeds, four nature seeds, and a slime seed, whenever they grow, we get a sponge. So that's that's what I'm gonna go for now. Uh, I already converted all of the, the spider essence though, so we're gonna have to the spider chunks. So we're gonna have to grab a few more. Hopefully, we get some from this. My experience, by the way, is just insane. It's still collecting more. Yeah, so I'm gonna hopefully make some progress on that right now. All right, I got the slime essence planted here. I got four spider seeds planted here. And I got two essence seeds planted here because pumpkins take forever to grow, in case you didn't know. Um, I've had to harvest nine already, or I've harvested nine already. Uh, so I got three sponges so far. We're gonna throw these in the sifter. Uh, not just any sifter, but I have a sieve fortune three Regular sieve. Hopefully, we get lots of lots of the, the the stuff that I want. That did not look like any. That did look like some. We got one. Wow, that was really bad. <laughs> okay, I think this is actually yeah. This is the one that I guess can counts as two. Still, that was really bad. We need more sponge. Um, and as as things grow, I'm going to end up getting more nature essence, which is the big thing I'm missing right now. Because I only have two seeds. Uh, so I'm going to get two more of those, and then it should be going pretty fast. The watering can works sometimes. I think it's the daytime. Because I have not had to pay attention to the time of day in the game at all yet. But I think the watering can works during the day. So might, might, I might actually make a bed. All right, let's see what I can get. Nine more. Nine more sponges. Fingers crossed for lots of kids. That was nothing there. I saw some stuff in there. Nothing there. Jeez, this is so bad. There's something green there. Something green there too. Green there. What do we have? I got two. Why is this so bad? Is this not an upgraded sieve? I thought it was, yeah, sieve fortune three. Huh, I guess they're just a lot rarer than I first thought. Um, four crystals though, we're up to four crystals and two shards. So we need one more shard and two more crystals or five crystals or some, some combination like that. We need a lot more. Lily pads. Oh. I see, I see a crystal down there. We're good. I think we're done. We, we did, we did everything. Oh yeah, we actually got some crystals at the end there. Very nice. Uh, have to make. So we got four um, prismarine shards. We have seven prismarine crystals. I only need five. And with this, we can make the lantern. The lantern. Um, and then I need. I compress the bone block, bones, or iron, and we can make the thing like this, and boom, growth crystal. It's in a nine by nine farm. That's actually really big. Uh, checks up to two blocks up or down. I could just put it right here. 
Wait. Ah, that's the echo faster, I think. They both grew, I couldn't tell. It works in a 9x9, nine nine, so that's four in each direction, so it should get all of these. I think. Yeah, I th maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's, it's nighttime also. Let me make it day and see if that helps. Because the watering can didn't work well at night, so maybe this doesn't either. Again, it could be light level, but... I can be sure. Of course, this is the tier 1. The tier 2, actually, I don't think is that much more expensive. Um, greenhouse glass. Is, we have to do some empowering stuff. Um, definitely doable. Wow. That's actually real. That's so much more doable than I thought. Um, next episode, though, we are out of time. We're not, we're not going any further. Uh, but yeah, we got a ton done today. Working our way into mystical agriculture. Um, enchanted some sieves. It's going to be great. Got power running. You know, thing, things are progressing smoothly. How many loot bags are you up to now? We're up to 10 legendary loot bags. So slowly accumulating. Yeah, but that's going to be it for today's episode. Next time we delve even deeper into mystical, agri mystical agriculture and try to get some better stuff set up. And also, we might go for the tier 3. If you know what the tier 3 requires, you know what that means. We'll see. We might, we might make a certain item before that, but we'll, we'll find out. Who knows? Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.